Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a Strictly Virgo channel. Hope you are all doing well. Hello everyone in the chat. Welcome, welcome. If you guys want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. So I know that when you hit like on the video, I feel like you guys really enjoy my readings and that means a lot to me and it pushes the video out for more people to view. All right, so we are almost at 11,000. So you guys are like really kicking butt, helping me out here. Um, and I, I'm just so grateful, seriously. Um, it's all because of you. All right, so thank you. All right, let's get started. Let's see what your messages are here. Okay, five of pentacles, two of wands, six of swords, four of wands, king of wands, eight of wands, two of pentacles, ace of wands, page of wands, holy. All right, you guys, some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign. I feel it. Fire, fire, pumpkin, sire. What the heck does that mean? All right. Let me see. I want to take a look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, my gosh. Go into the chapel and wear. Okay. Maybe not actually going to show me you. Maybe. Okay. Somebody's coming in, offering their love. You're like, they don't want to miss the opportunity here. Not ready to let you go. Okay. Give that long-term security, making change in their life, coming towards you. Could be visiting from afar. Um, this person, like they have plugged in their coordinates and their path takes them right to you. And they know this. Okay. This person is absolutely not going to let you go. In fact, they haven't let you go. If you're still communicating with them or you think it's over, you're dead wrong. <laughs> okay, you have always been number one to this person. Um, I know that might sound kind of strange. I just heard some of you say, well, yeah, I kind of knew that, but they don't act like it. Okay, well, they're kind of, this is someone who is, look at the, pinnacle there in front of the chest area. I feel like this person has kind of a blocked heart or they just don't let you see or haven't really let you see what's inside their heart. Very guarded with their heart. But look at this Knight of Cups here. I mean, the Knight of Cups is kind of like this person admires you. They have very strong feelings for you. They admire you so much. I feel like they're going to come towards you. Right now they're kind of blocked, but I feel like that energy is going to change. Oh, they just gave me. Here you go. Well, Spirit said, show them real quick and then take it away. Okay, well, the Knight of Swords was there, and it's gone. It flew away um, because it's fast. The Knight of Swords is like, boom, very fast energy. And I feel like this person is coming in pretty darn quick for this time period. All right, let's take a look. So that's Cancer, Energy. We also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, what are the love messages here for you, Virgo? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others, okay? So your person is in this position right now. Currently, I feel like your person is, um, leaning on other people. Their friends are helping them come towards you. Uh, they have good people around them. Supportive people. And very soon, yeah, listen. I mean, sometimes you just look at a reading. 
a quick glance and there, I've already got it. Okay? It, it just feels to me like, the, and it sounds so cliche, and I really don't want to give you a very cliche reading, but it feels to me like this person had a hard time to love you because they didn't love themselves. And they struggled with that. This person really struggled with that, you know? And I feel like there's something going on here with them where they're friends. It feels like they're friends. Very close, supportive people have been like talking to them, um, maybe one or two, or sisters, or just some friends, or someone that, a friend with a baby. Um, or brothers, but they're getting the support and somebody's saying to them, what are you waiting for? A certain shade of green. That's my favorite song, by the way, that's from Incubus. What are you waiting for? Why are you, why do you keep holding back? Your life is passing you by. What are you waiting for? And your person struggles, you know? I mean, I don't know why they struggle, but I just feel like it had a lot to do with they didn't feel like they were worthy or deserving of someone as amazing as you, Virgo. So they kind of sabotaged the relationship and they're lonely. And now they're like heavily leaning on their friends. I just heard this. And their friends are getting annoyed because it's like, dude or dudette, you're like this age now and you are like, you just want to go out and party and we're all living our lives and we're working and we're, you know, uh, getting on with things in our own lives and you're just like get your shit together <laughs> take care of your business go after that you love this person you love virgo tell virgo do something about it express yourself and this person's like very guarded with their heart you know um and i feel like coming in with that king of wands energy like that's boldness that's aggressive energy that's you know, this person right now, okay, is how I feel, is sitting with this Five of Pentacles here. They're like completely crippled. Do you know what I mean? Leaning on their, leaning on other people to help them financially, or um, maybe they have like an injury to the leg, actually. Yeah, there's like a leg injury here or something. Um, I don't feel like there's this person's playing the victim or anything. I just kind of feel like they know they got to do something and they're kind of avoiding it and just hoping other people will in a way do help them do things for them. But then at the same time, their friends are saying to them, why are you wasting your time hanging around with us? Why are you spending so much time? You've got a great love out there. You've got Virgo out there to have a, a magnificent life with. Face your fears. Six of Swords. Go after Virgo. Open that door. Open the communication. Stop being afraid. Stop leaning on us. We can't do it for you. We can't take care of this situation. <clears throat> Quit waiting. Quit making Virgo wait. Quit waiting. What are you waiting for? Look, love is like right there. Their friends are saying, or their, their people in their life are saying to them, giving them the support. And, and your person's like, but how? How do I do this? How do I do this? You know, the ble it's a blessing. You're, the, these people are telling them, telling your person. And then your person's like, but what do I do? What do I say? Virgo won't talk to me. Or Virgo, uh, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if Virgo will accept my love or my, my offer, my cup of love, you know? And their friends, I feel like, are saying to them, all right, where does Virgo live? Let's get in the car. Get in the car. Go over there. Talk to Virgo. Come out of that hidden, like, dark, tight, this is like someone who's like uh, uptight, uptight, stiff, scared, deer in the headlights. Yet they know that you're like the best thing since sliced bread for them. And yet, 
they're stiff like a bad like their whole body is having like a charlie horse leg cramp like uh, i can't move i can't i'm so afraid <laughs> virgo won't take me back and they're i just feel like their friends are saying well at least try do something don't you can't be hanging around with us all the time <laughs> make the plans to do something strike out get out of your comfort zone and and this is what this person's doing Okay, devising a plan. Two of swords with the six of swords. Because what's going on here, all right, what I feel like is happening here, your person has been stalemating your connection for a really long time. Why? Because they were scared, fearful, that they have to ask their friends. They're afraid of, of they were afraid of everything just crashing down or getting their ego hurt or being rejected here but their their friends or the other people whoever's around them supporting them telling them look this is a card of facing your fears overcoming mental anguish before like keeping the fear at your feet before it takes over you and you never do anything you have to control the fear you have you have you know the brain you start getting nervous about something, you feel that rush of panic and that fear coming up from your feet, up your legs, and it starts rising like a like a heat like heat, and you gotta push it down. Say, nope, fear, stay at stay at my feet. I'm doing this. My head's in control. And so I feel like your person is kind of in this position. Like they have great, great propensity for anxiety and fear and it feels mostly like being rejected maybe because they have such a big ego and you know what love and that big ego cannot coexist right love and fear cannot coexist that big ego is always a front for fear and this person is trapped because like they realize that they truly truly tr like it's real love between you and they're in this battle between do I let my fears overtake me or do I let the love, like, do I let the love overtake me? I have to make a decision, you know? What's that song? I keep hearing these Incubus songs. Um, whatever tomorrow brings, I will be there. Should I? My favorite song, and I can't remember the words. Uh, let the fear over, let the fear take the wheel and drive. Or should I take the wheel and drive? You know, this is kind of where your person is here. And they do it. And they come to you. They make this decision. They make a decision. Boom. Eight of Wands. Chasing after you. Expect a lot of messages coming from this person in October. And travel. And where are you? And I'm in love with you. And they just, they vomit it. So now, this person goes from being so blocked. And not being someone who opens their emotions or expresses how they feel now they're at the other extreme because they break open that dam and here comes the knight of cups and now they want to marry you and now they're duh, 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 and you're like what the heck's going, who are you you know and so so now you're like i'm so confused <clears throat> but it's because they get the courage and that's what the king of wands is courageous okay and because they get the support from their friends. Like, I guess they needed a little boost or something. And their friends or family members or whomever, whoever they're close to, just gives them the courage. <clears throat> some people have the courage and some people, you know, don't. I mean, it's real courage. It's not false courage. So the four of wands and the lovers. Okay, the decision gets made. I'm telling you in Vir Virgo, I'm telling you. In October, you're getting a proposal. Ace of Wands on the King of Wands. Here you go. Brand new, passionate, fiery, physical, of course. I mean, this person, listen, Virgo. How can I put this with the State of Wands? You know, I'll say this. If you're dealing with a... I'm even I don't even know what to call people anymore in this day and age. So I'm just going to just going to be me. If you're dealing with a male, this person gets pretty boing for you. Okay? And if you're dealing with a female, 
same with them but they just don't you can't see it <laughs> boom you just switch it out how you want okay but i feel like this person is very physically like so much fire and passion here you know uh, they get like their mojo back i hear a lot of communication the chariot change travel oh my it's so amazing to me sometimes how these readings go okay now for somebody this could be somebody new and i'm just going to put this out here right now this doesn't have to be your past person this could very well be somebody new who's got their eye on you and just doesn't have the courage to come towards you and it's a fire sign okay if you're done with the past and like that's like that's been done and or you have nobody you've got um a leo sagittarius or aries coming in or someone who's very bold and fiery and passionate okay and for some this could be both because it is mercury retrograde so we do get that entered cancer is here twice okay so sometimes we do get those um you know replays sometimes those replays come in and let's take a look here this person does definitely makes this decision you know and, and i say this all the time right when you're in a position right like you are trying to the whole law of attraction thing right you got to be specific with that right and you and you got to manifest but you got to be clear and you have to be like you have to make a decision you know you can't just say all right listen if if you say you put it out in the universe that you would like to have an apple the universe will provide you with an apple, but it might have a worm or it might be rotten or it might be sour or it might not be what you like, the type of apple you like, or it might be. It's hit or miss. You have to be specific. You have to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's how the law of attraction works. And when you do that, don't, and I'm saying don't, but make sure that you don't use the words no don't doesn't want don't tell the universe what you don't want because they don't understand that it's about the law of attraction if you tell the universe what you don't want they're going to bring you that <laughs> because you're asking for it they don't understand don't they don't understand nothingness they understand somethingness okay and i just kind of feel like that's really important for you guys to understand here i know some of you know that but for others the, uh, the other way it works, too, is that you have to act as if you already have it. And then you will have it. It's kind of like Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey said, I once wrote, a blank, uh, wrote on a blank check $1 million. I paid myself before I received the money. And guess what happened? He got the money. Right? You have to act as if you already have it. And that's how you get what you want. Um, so... If you guys have been doing that, well, here comes your person. But there's Gemini energy here too. <clears throat> I feel like your person's definitely like decision, decision. Definitely is deciding. They're coming for you. They're coming after you. They're coming to do it right here with you. The right way. Like, And what do I mean by that? I mean without being fear-based or without running away or without sabotaging or without playing the victim, like seeing the blessing for what it is, the blessing in disguise. This person, it wasn't in disguise. They were covering it up. They were hiding it. They were blocking their heart. They were hiding, not letting you in. They weren't letting anybody in. And now, you know, it's like universe came down with this golden pentacle. Higher power said, yo, smacked him on the head. You have a golden opportunity here with Virgo hello a little bit of a wake-up call wouldn't be surprised if the tower shows up here in this oh it is here duh see that's it wake-up call and now this person's making plans waiting for the right time and they come forward october you're going to be leaving me messages oh my goodness get out feels like yesterday king of cups and the knight of cups okay um all emotion Poor, remember i told you they're gonna be spilled like their cup how did i say it the other day my cup runneth over my cupeth runneth and spilleth overeth 
this person I'm telling you is coming in. You guys are going to be like the proposal, the love, the expression of emotion is coming here. This King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay. And that just flew out like as a side thing. It wasn't clarifying. So for some of you, it's fire. For some of you, it's water. And if your person is not either one of those, then this is somebody new. And for some, it might be two people. Hey, do your thing. Do your thing, Virgo. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look here. Oh, man, page of wands. This person, I'm telling you, is so smitten with you. And ace of wands here, underneath the ace of wands. Holy smokes. Smoke. Where there's fire, where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm telling you, this is like a piece of kindling. This is the spark. This gets it started. There's a spark, a relighting of these, this spark, or, you know, your, <laughs> your, um, <laughs> boing. <laughs> Listen, I am not shy. I just can't say certain things here. Believe me, if you met me on, in person, like, I'm very candid. I'm one of those Virgos, but I just cannot have youtube like are my sponsors striking me down it's happened before i used to use a, another tarot deck and it had some graphic photos on it explicit photos and somebody reported me and then i got strikes this was like five years ago or something and i was like it's whatever um so i stopped using them but boy are they explicit maybe one day i'll start using them again we'll see anyway um yeah this person, like, they're going to be holding on to it for you, um, for you females, okay? And for you males, they're going to hold on to it for you. <laughs> I'm not even drinking. I don't even drink, you know? All right, let's take a look here. They're very attracted to you also because you're truly, like, loving yourself so much, Virgo. It's like, Virgo, I just kind of feel like you're like, uh, I don't need you. I don't need you. I got me. Oh, I love my, I love me some, some self right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that is really bringing this person even more like they're like double, double knight of cups, ace of cups, ace of wands. I mean, okay. Here's the sun. It's a yes, Virgo. You, some of you might say yes to this proposal. You might weigh it up a little bit, okay? And when I say proposal, I know. It, for some of you, it's just them coming in and, you know, I want to be with you forever and ever and ever, happily ever after. I love you. Can we, can we be together? You know, and some of you, I hate to say this, but some of you are really just going to give this, this thing here um in your mind and in your heart you're already like yes but you're gonna present as uh i don't know i got a lot going on right now um let me think about it <laughs> virgo uh, if you want to say yes say yes if you want to say don't maybe is passive aggressive do not say maybe maybe is that's so rude People who say maybe, even all the time, you know, like if they go, you ask a question, they go, maybe. That's, maybe to me is always a no. It's just a passive aggressive way of saying no. So if you, if you want to say no, Virgo, just say no. But some of you are going to say yes, okay? You don't have to like jump up and down if you're trying to like, be cool and you don't have to like jump up and down yes 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 and you know like just kill this like knock them over i mean you could just very nonchalantly say yes and then you know go in your car and and scream at the top of your lungs with joy whatever you want to do leo energy here for some of you all right let's see ace of wands and the page of cups okay you know what the reading is speaking for itself, and I was saying it yesterday as well. The higher font, marriage, commitment, and the Empress. Ooh, interesting. This person looks at you 
like the empress and the emperor, of course, male or female, is the queen and the king of, like they are the queen and the king of all the queens and the kings, you know? This is like all the signs wrapped up in, into one. And this person looks at you, Virgo, male or female, like you are the top of the line. You are the, your grade A, your USDA choice meat. You, and I don't mean that that way, but you are like, you're like the Michael Kors bag of the purse world. <laughs> I mean, you're everything. This person is just so, they can't, they're just, it's like a childhood crush. They just, you know, are, are you just like top of the line? You're like, the cream of the crop, Virgo. That's how they see you. I know some of you are like, no, I'm not. I got holes in my jeans. I haven't had a shower in three days. I smell like a, a, a wet mop in a dirty whorehouse. I don't know what's, you know, I'm not, but it, it's okay. You know, because Virgo, don't be so critical of yourself. I mean, I get it. Some of you are like, I got to get my teeth fixed. My boobs are too small. I'm probably going to get like busted for this on this channel. But it, you're just being, your person doesn't see you that way. They don't see your flaws. They see you like this. Okay. And others of you, I know you're not feeling that way about yourself. And that's good. That's fine. You're accepting yourself. But this person, you could do no wrong. And you're, I feel like, they view you as being more worthy than they are. Taurus energy, Leo, Libra, as being more worthy, as being like, whew. they look at you, it's kind of like in high school, you know, the popular one, and then there was everybody else, and everybody else wanted to be with the popular one. Can it, some of you were the popular one in school when you were younger, um, when that used to, well, I don't know if that's still a thing, but maybe it is, but and they are kind of like, I don't know, in not in that group. And they look at you and they just have always felt like, or they do just feel like they could never have someone like you. But their friends are like, I feel like this is a high school reading. <laughs> their friends are somebody, or <laughs> that's what it feels like, or like... I, what the heck is going I know most of my uh, listeners are not in high school. <laughs> but I don't know. This person is getting like a boost. And they're, like their friends or other people are pushing them. Like, go ask her out. Go ask him out. Go, go, go. You can do it. You can do it. Like they're cheering them on to come towards you. <laughs> you know, or try again. You know, don't give up. And, you know, whether this is a past person, I'm, I'm not seeing anything toxic. Yesterday's reading was like, Psh, that was deep and toxic. But I feel like this person is just straight out basic fear. Straight out basic fear because they look at you and you're like, oh, you're glowing. <laughs> you're glowing. All right. All right. Let's get into some <laughs> love messages here. If they could tell you, if you could only see the way she loves me, maybe you would understand why I feel this way about our love and what I must do. If you could only see how blue her eyes can be when she says, when she says she loves me. Excuse me. I'm having a moment. That song. Seriously. I don't know what that song is called, but. All right. Let's see. I'm getting to the point now where I'm singing. I'm like singing out the full song. So anybody know what that song is called? Please tell me. It's like very early 2000s, late 90s alternative, I guess. All right, come on. Give us some cards, Spirit. Let's see. Stability. 
This relationship can stand the test of time. That's interesting that that's coming out because it kind of feels like your person kind of feels like Virgo's not going to want to be with me or Virgo's going to dump me or not think I'm good enough or it's going to go with the other popular person. Do you know, it's usually... Do you usually, like... It's always like, oh, well, the popular people should be together. But it's it doesn't always end up that way, does it? It's usually, I feel like the popular person always ends up with the unpopular person. So when I say popular, I just mean, I don't necessarily mean like popular among friends or things like that. I'm using that as kind of like um, an example, but what I mean is you're kind of like on top of this mountain and your person is down on the ground and they're looking up at you and they're like, oh my gosh, Virgo is so amazing. Can this work out? Can we be together? Is like, is this possible? And the message here is stability, yes. This relationship can stand the test of time. Very much like a mountain stands the test of time. Okay. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Very nice. We like that. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Lesson, vice versa. I feel like Paula Abdul... I don't feel like Paula Abdul, but this song. We go together. Da, 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 da. No, that's not it. That's Katy Perry. Um, I just, but I heard Paula Abdul opposites attract. But then what's that Katy Perry song? Somebody tell me. Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed now. Okay. I don't know why. What's going on here? obstacles okay hmm. okay this all right so this is your person your person um i just kind of feel like is a jellyfish or has been a jellyfish so boundaries why do, why are boundaries important for ourselves boundaries are important because they give us a sense of stability when, within ourselves they give when we put boundaries up for ourselves not for other people you don't have to go around putting boundaries up for everybody you meet you have to have boundaries for yourself it's a form of self-discipline it's a form of self-love when you put a boundary up you can say to yourself i'm not going to eat chocolate cake anymore because it's bad for me that's my boundary i'm not crossing that boundary it's a part of self-care okay I don't know if this is your person, it could be, or it's something with you. Your person, though, did not have boundaries with themselves. And they kind of just allowed people to walk all over them, or they um, allowed themselves to take advantage of themselves, right? Nobody betrays us more than ourselves. We are our biggest betrayers. And if we can't get true with ourselves about who we are and trust ourselves, how can we trust anybody else? And how can anybody else trust us, right? People want to feel safe with each other. If you don't have boundaries, you, people don't feel safe with you. It's up to us to create a safe space for ourselves. And that in turn, by default, has a triple down effect. Tri trickle down effect and it creates safety in relationships right so that's the biggest obstacle uh, what i'm seeing here maybe for both of you or, or your person the biggest obstacle is to be able to learn how to set boundaries for self that is what heals codependency um being true and honest and self-disciplined okay and sometimes you know sometimes there are areas where self-discipline is apparent you know um for example, you're not going to throw your trash on the ground. You know it goes in the trash can, especially if it's in your kitchen, right? That's a boundary. Like, that's self-care. You don't want dirt around you. But other things like too much drinking or too much partying or too much overeating, you know, or 
flirting around too much or just, you know, everything has to be in moderation. So your person, I feel like, is kind of learning right now how to put up boundaries for themselves and not be a doormat. Obsession, but they're obsessed with you. Virgo, let me tell you something. There's something about you with this person, as I explained before, that is giving change to this person. Love is the only thing that can make a man or a woman change. True love. And that is point blank period. Love is the only thing that can make somebody change, want to change. Okay, that's it. When a man falls in love with the woman of his dreams and she's the one for him, damn right he will want to change and he will want to please her. And the same for a woman. But you both got to be there at the same time because otherwise one is giving too much in the relationship. Okay, so that's where the, the dilemma always is. This person is so obsessed with you, wants so much to be with you, is overcoming their fear, and is willing to overcome, un to heal these wounds, to have forward movement, okay, to make change, to be what you need them to be, or, or what you're looking for. I mean... When we have the Knight of Cups twice in a reading from two different decks, that's a pretty clear sign to me that that's what's going on here. Okay, some of you might have been just friends, friends at work. This person was fronting. They were hiding behind the friendship mask. This person might have been around you. And just kind of being your friend or just an acquaintance or seeing you at work and just being casual. Little do you know, deep inside, this person's like, oh, I got to be with Virgo. I got to do this. Help me. Help me. Where do I get the courage? And that's, you know, they're talking to their friends, asking for advice. They've been pushing them towards you. Yeah. Now, I don't know. I don't know if you guys... For some of you, this if this is a past person, for some of you, I'm hearing, if this is a past person, your person never had the courage to come forward, and some of you just settle for friendship with them, but deep in your heart, you really wanted to be with them, or you just settled for acquaintanceship, acquaintances, or just casual, just whatever, chit-chat now and then, or on the phone, or text, or something, or see each other when you see each other, and... Um, but it's because they weren't able to get the courage to come towards you, right? Come out of their comfort zone. And I feel like, well, now they're starting to happen. And this is really just a message from spirit that it is leading to more. It is going in this direction here. Yep. This person is ta having a, taking a leap of faith here with you, Virgo. But you get safe, Virgo. Get yourself safe. Make yourself a safe person. Everybody needs a safe word. Everybody needs a safe person. People don't want to be with people that they don't feel safe with. That's it. No matter how much the love is there, you know, you can love your child, and if your child's stealing from you, you don't want your child in the house. I'm not talking like little kids, but whatever. You don't want your kid in the house because you don't feel safe with them in the house. Yeah, I love you. I love you to death. I'll do anything for you, but you can't come in my house because you keep stealing my jewelry. You keep taking my money <laughs> and selling it. Yeah, see the difference? Love is great. Love does make people change. Um, but your love does not change somebody. It's their love for you that will change them. Not your love. Your love isn't going to do shit. No matter, you can love someone to your blue in the face. They're not going to change you are not the one for them. So if that's your situation right now, you need to move on and keep it moving because you will, listen, there's a seat for every ASS out there. Know that. 
You're not going to be like, oh, okay, you just stand in because there's no more chairs left. That is impossible. It doesn't happen in life. There will always be somebody else come along. If this person is not loving you, cut it off and go. That's advice. That's guidance. That's it. I'm not telling you what to do. You do whatever you want to do. Okay. Advice. Now I'm going to give you your advice. Virgo, how you guys doing? I'm inclined to wish you all a happy birthday, but it's all over. September is over. That month went fast. All right, a whole bunch of cards here. Well, the lovers. It, embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart vibrant health a recovery from an illness okay good for you um this this is just all about the love here look at them holding hands joining in union with each other a lot of hand holding is going to start happening in the month of october or there's going to be holding each other's hand and here's the ace of fire again okay that's three times an amazing opportunity, a little boing boing. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about, okay? Keep that fire burning. Somebody has an iguana or a bearded dragon. And a magic wand. Oh, crazy that's here twice now all right some of you have a beardy or an iguana is gonna have a baby <laughs> or is going to have i don't know what are these baby lizards called okay page of fire enthusiastic optimistic creative passionate texts back and forth i just heard news of exciting opportunities allowing your creativity to soar do things that fuel your passions and Virgo finish what you start whatever you have whatever you're doing right now make sure you finish that thing that you're working on book painting art creation project job search whatever get to the end of it okay eight of swords the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel help, helpless. Being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. This is your person, okay? And this is what's happening. They're coming out of this Eight of Swords energy of feeling like mentally trapped. Reducing back to the Six of Swords, coming out of the comfort zone, facing their fears with courage and strength, okay? And so your advice is to pay attention to that. That's what's happening with them. Okay, just just be mindful of that. That's all. Leo energy again. Personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing, them realizing that they're stronger than they knew. Okay, and so is this love. So your advice really here as far as this other person or what's going on here is to be mindful of it. That's all. Just to pay attention to see beyond the veil of things, okay? Um, all right, let's get some charms. Whole bunch. Where shall we start? Here's a guitar. This time, this time, all right. It's an electric guitar. I just heard somebody's a bartender. Um, this time, it's an electric guitar. Okay, maybe you work in a place where there's music or you, you play electric or rock, you play um, guitar. Some of you are like restringing your guitars or need to. <laughs> I, I play guitar and um, I never restring my guitars. Like I'll leave them on until they break. <laughs> but I get it. Um, so yeah, definitely into music. And we have a, um, a pentacle here, Virgo. That's you. You got some big, listen, Virgo, apart from this relationship, you guys have some big financial gains coming in in October. I just feel like I need you to, this is like definitely, can I ever pick up these cards? 
look, you've got um, a huge financial package or gift coming in for you, okay, in October. I don't know if somebody owes you money or you're doing something or you're going to finish that project, like I said, and receive a big payout for this, all right? Um, which, you know what? <laughs> it's not unlike Virgo to be doing well financially. And if you're not doing well financially right now, you're just not in your bliss yet, but you'll be, you'll get there. You'll be fine. Just sometimes Virgo, you just got to stop overthinking the negative and just put all your energy into more action. Let's talk more action. All right. So again, I was saying like a bottle opener here. Somebody's a bartender. Are you using a bottle opener right now? Okay. Um, hmm. They're just giving me another message about that pinnacle. Something special is in um, a money jar. If you have a money jar, um, there's something in the in the money jar that may surprise you. I don't know what that means. I feel like for some of you, this money jar, um, oh, okay, for some, they just did, now they're telling me monkey. So somebody is a year of the year of the monkey. This would be specifically for you, but there's something in um, a money jar. Like, you know how you put money into like, you save your coins, you just flip them in a jar, something, I don't know. I guess go look in the money jar. <laughs> oh, okay, watermelon. Watermelon sugar, hi. All right, so I don't know. Watermelon for somebody who I I just saw lip gloss, watermelon lip gloss, and then um, something to do with watermelon. These seeds, I see these seeds. Like there's so many seeds planting planting some seeds to come out with something juicy and sweet in your life here maybe you're eating watermelon right now i mean it could be anything right sometimes the messages are very strange maybe you're eating who would be eating watermelon in september i mean i guess it's possible if you have like a little fruit bowl there's just something here to do with watermelon or there's someone who plays does cover songs and does that song watermelon sugar by is that the jonas brother i don't know who it is all right lord have mercy we've got a white cross for purity okay some of you need to put your cross back up on the wall and start being thankful and thanking the lord for all your blessings i just heard that um and also Okay. If you've lost someone and they have like a grave site, they're saying go to the grave site. Maybe that person played music or liked watermelon or, you know, worked in a like distillery or was a bartender or something. Whoever that person is, they're saying go, go come visit me at my grave site sometime, please. And then we have a hatchet, okay. Oh, I also heard a fireman. They gave me like, the, they said that this person's a fireman or a firewoman, a, f a fire, a fire person. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> birthing person, get the hell out of here. A fire employee, a volunteer fire, something to do with Something to do with like a fire or building on fire. Not that I'm not predicting your house is going to be on fire. I'm saying something it, it's to do with that. For some of you, you're just like, oh, I get it. A hose, a fire hose, a fireman's cap. Get out of the gutter. Okay. Fireman, something to do with a fireman. All right. I'm not going to do the singles, y'all, because. I don't even know why I say y'all. I'm up here in Philly, and New Jersey. We don't even say that here. But I'm not going to do the singles. I'm going to give that a break for a little bit. And I'm going to leave your reading there. I will see you guys on October 1st for the live stream. 
Um, I have a good bit of you have already applied for the moderator, so I'll be reaching out hopefully tomorrow. I mean, um, yeah, I'm looking over it and then uh, maybe, yeah, Monday. I think I'm going to reach out to everybody on Monday because I'm still kind of organizing everything here. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. Have a great night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for being in the chat. Thank you for super chats. If you've posted any, I truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.